Hi, this is Andrew from DPS TV. As you can see, DPS Telecom is expanding into a new, larger production facility. One of the big drivers of this change has been the increasing scope of DPS products in the last several years. Wireless RTUs like this one are a great example of this expanding scope. A wireless RTU is a lot like a traditional RTU, except it has a wireless GSM or CDMA modem on the back for reporting alarms. Now this has been a great new technology, but until recently, it has involved a few configuration headaches. But today I want to talk to you about a new technology that eliminates all of those problems. First, let's take a look at what it used to be like setting up wireless, and then I'll show you how this new technology works. Let's start by looking at an example. As you can see, this site is on a remote hilltop, but it's still within range of a wireless network, either GSM or CDMA. Inside this site is a wireless RTU. Now let's trigger an example alarm from the wireless RTU and follow its path. An alarm message, which could be formatted as an SNMP trap or another protocol, is broadcast as wireless data traffic. That traffic is received by a nearby wireless tower, and that's where the trouble starts. Getting alarm data out of the wireless network and to your master station used to cause a lot of headaches. The first struggle was to get the data onto the public internet. You could either pay an extra monthly fee for a static IP address, or pay an extra monthly fee for a third-party data service provider who had an agreement with your wireless provider. These fees added up quickly, and the extra complexity made setup difficult. But that was just the beginning. Once the data was accessible via internet, you still had to bring it into your internal network. That meant punching a hole in your firewall. Depending on your company, the IT department's response would range from annoyance and delays to absolute denial. At some security conscious organizations, even the smallest possible firewall hole is an intolerable security risk. Clearly, there needed to be a better way to use wireless RTUs, and now there is. Let's take a look at how it works. Just like before, you've got a remote site with a wireless RTU. When it detects an alarm condition, it's still going to report it via the wireless connection. But this time, instead of creating a big hassle by establishing an IP connection, it's simply going to send out a simple SMS text message containing the alarm information. Technically, it's the same kind of text message you might send to friends and family. That SMS message enters the wireless network, and then it's forwarded to your central office where a special SMS receiver box is waiting. This SMS receiver is the key to simplifying your wireless RTU deployment because it brings alarm data into your private LAN without requiring a direct IP connection. It receives text messages with its GSM or CDMA wireless modem, extracts the alarm information in the text, and sends out SNMP traps to your SNMP manager over internal LAN. Non-SNMP protocols are also available if that's what you need. Of course, you may have already spotted another alarm reporting opportunity here. An RTU with built-in SMS capability also means that you can send out text messages directly to your cell phone. This completely eliminates the need for an alarm master in networks small enough for direct management of individual sites. I hope this quick example has helped you to understand how powerful wireless RTUs can be and how much simpler the whole process is when you report alarms using SMS. To see how SMS-based alarm remotes will function in your network, Send a quick email to sales at dpstele.com or call 1-800-693-0351. For DPS-TV, this is Andrew signing off.